35 years ago, the Falkland Islands, a small British overseas territory in the South Atlantic, was invaded by Argentina. The conflict that ensued was a major episode in the protracted confrontation in the territory's sovereignty. On the 5th of April 1982, the British government sent a task force of over 100 vessels and 26,000 service personnel to reclaim the islands. While the conflict was fought over a relatively short two-month period, the effects of the horrors of war have had a deep cultural, political and psychological impact on both Britain and Argentina, and in particular on the gallant servicemen and women that fought on both sides of that conflict. Of course, Welsh servicemen and women were also involved in the heart of the conflict, and the Welsh Guards paid an especially high price of their involvement with 48 deaths and 97 casualties. As chair of the cross-party group on the armed forces and cadets in the National Assembly, I've been immensely pleased to be able to welcome some of those former service veterans and their families to the Senate here today as we commemorate the 35th anniversary of the date of the end of the war. In total, 907 were killed during the 74 days of the conflict. 255 British servicemen, 649 Argentine servicemen, and three islanders. It's only right that we remember them today and that we pay tribute to all those involved in the conflict and especially those who made the ultimate sacrifice in the service of our country.